Debian. Why should you use Debian? Why do I use Debian as my Linux distribution of choice? Great questions. Every time someone starts their Linux journey, they are likely facing this dilemma, this problem, which Linux distribution they should choose from all those hundreds of different Linux distributions. And yeah, it might seem like a incredible problem that you're facing, but actually there's only very few Linux distributions that you should care about. That's my opinion, of course. That opinion is based on, though, on the fact that most of the Linux distributions are derivatives of very few Linux distributions, like original Linux distributions, so to say. So if we are talking about just normal use case operating system, normal use case Linux uh, distribution, so you're not looking for any kind of a special use case. Uh, so then the only distributions that really matter would be Debian, Arch, and Fedora. And that's about it. Those are the substantially different and sort of original projects out of which several forks derivatives have been created from. Uh, we could make a few extra mentions, of course. OpenSUSE, well, it's another RPM-based uh, distribution. RPM package manager is in OpenSUSE and Fedora. But yeah, basically Fedora, I would say, has a bigger uh, user base than OpenSUSE. So yeah, Fedora, Arch and Debian, those I would say are uh, the important ones. The little differences there are that Fedora uses the RPM package manager as mentioned. It has uh, more up-to-date, more newer software than say Debian. Debian uh, is concentrated, concentrating on a stability and security over everything else. So they will release a new release of Debian every two years or so. And each of those releases kind of, kind of freezes the repository of software. So the software after two years is going to be kind of old. But the point is that in this way, we keep the stability of the system. And the security to Debian comes in the way of not having uh, feature updates unless absolutely necessary. There won't be feature updates per se. There will mainly be just security updates. And of course, if there's some extremely annoying bug, some considerable bug, then uh, they will usually patch it. So security comes first with the stability. And that's one of the key reasons why I use Debian. Well, just to mention something about Arch as well. Arch is used mainly by hobbyists, people who can devote a large chunk of their time to problem solving if they have issues with their system, because those breakages do happen with Arch. Uh, the reason being that like Arch has the, like, a, like the newest software all the time available. Uh, so breakages are inevitable. But of course, you know, if you have enough time, enough patience, and you do experience any breakage with Arch, you can just go and fix it. And you learn quite a lot with Arch while doing that. Um, Debian, while Arch is extremely bare bones, when you start out, it has only the basic packages, you kind of build, build the system to be your own from there. So it's very ex for very experienced Linux users, I would say, of course, you can start your Linux journey also from Arch, but I wouldn't <laughs> necessarily recommend that if you don't know anything about anything yet. But yeah, Debian, while the basic Debian version doesn't deliver as bare bones or, or start from scratch, a scratch experience as Arch, Debian kind of comes with the 
basic tools that you need to run an operating system, which is kind of great. And there is a graphical uh, installer. And um, so that's different from Arch, which, well, it does nowadays have also like a installer, but uh, it's also, it, it, it's, it's kind of failure prone. So yeah, it's better to just install and do everything in Arch manually when you're uh, kind of installing, building your system. But yeah, Debian, Debian, I would say that it um, gets into this nice medium of stability and security. And um, it's great for actually getting work done. There will be no surprises like breaking feature updates, uh, surprise changes that will just, just screw up the system. Um, all the packages are quite rigorously tested and therefore everything just works. I'm using Debian 12, the latest release at this moment, Debian 12 Bookworm. I've been extremely happy with it. Stable like crazy. I've had zero, zero problems with this, which is quite incredible. No crashes, nothing. It just works. Solid as a rock. Um, so yeah, like I said, mainly just the security updates are coming your way a uh, new version of debian every two years and so uh, there is also the testing version of debian which is kind of rolling in in the way of arch but it is indeed the testing version version of debian and it doesn't have the the same focus points as arch has like arch is meant for the end user whereas testing not so much there's also the unstable version called SID, and that's even more failure prone uh, than testing. And uh, yeah, some hobbyists do use SID, but many of them also don't understand that it's in no way comparable to Arch. Arch is meant for the end user, whereas SID is uh, totally like a testing ground where they intentionally sometimes break things, and uh, there might be some surprise updates that. Uh, well, are known to break your system, uh, uh, so I wouldn't recommend that really for any kind of day-to-day -day things. If you want to get things done, then use the uh, stable version of Debian. And I do enjoy that nothing is really branded in Debian, like maybe the, the wallpaper, <laughs> but if you're installing like a different, if you're installing a desktop environment into Debian, then those are exactly like the uh, creators of that uh, that desktop environment intended it to be. So it doesn't come with any flavorings or changes by Debian. It is exactly what it is. And you can build it from there if you want to, you know, change the looks and behavior. Debian is, of course, extremely widely supported. And even if you go online and look for some guides for Ubuntu, those will probably be uh, something that you can use on Debian as well. So there's that, you will get your support. I do, do also uh, like the fact that there's no company uh, behind Debian. Now, of course, there are different companies that for sure are contributing. Uh, con of course, there are different companies that are for sure contributing to Debian also in the background, but uh, there is no company per se uh, behind Debian. So the approach here is kind of user approach way of development, no commercial tendencies of adding uh, different things to applications that are not very meaningful. And also that leads us back to security because uh, Debian is trusted on servers. Uh, it's trusted by many, many companies, security and stability coming first. So there's no tracking in Debian as well. Unlike in Windows, where you constantly have to fight against the tracking. So uh, yeah, it respects your privacy. Debian Package Manager, I guess is also very cool. You know, apt, sudo apt install whatever you're installing. Um, it's, it's widely used all over the 
Linux distributions. So yeah, very user friendly and simple to understand. All right, that kind of covers it why I use Debian and uh, see you next time.